Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today I am very pleased to inform you I am reviewing another cracking e-bike from Engway, the M20. I've been waiting for this bike for so long and it's going to be awesome. I've just got a feeling it's going to be awesome. I've already slipped the box and as you can see and as you can expect from Engway it is very well packaged. I'm not going to bore you too much with the unboxing. But as you can see, it looks like there's no damage whatsoever. So I'm going to strip all the packing off and get it out because I'm dead excited about this anyway. Okay folks, all packaging is off. I mean just look at it. They have sent me the twin battery, so extra range is fantastic. Loving the mag wheels. Absolutely loving the seat. All I've got to do is build it, charge it up and get on it. Wow, beautiful little thing. And this also comes with two boxes. In the one box is your lights and I think those are daytime running lights as well. Uh, it comes with a mud guard, front mud guard you've got to put on and your stand. And in the other box you have got your pedals, your spindle for the front wheel, some spanners and some great stickers from Engway and also you've got your brick charger with a UK plug on which is fantastic perfect now this bike comes with a 750 watt motor and a peak of 1000 watts wow now the handlebars just fit onto there so you undo these four allen screws lift the bars up fit it onto there and then tighten them back up like that that looks pretty easy folks handle bars are on easy it's the front wheel on folks no rubbing at all that's the pedals on it also has got a central shocker uh, 750 pounds HLT 100 shock absorber so that's good that's the front fender on folks now I'm just putting the brackets on for the uh, front light which is a bit tricky but nothing major well folks just look at it without a shadow of a doubt this is the best looking e-bike on the market in my opinion I mean just it's just I love it I love everything about it I'm just hoping it performs as good as it looks just a couple of points I want to make the bat the actual bike comes the batteries come with uh, four keys now each key is different for each battery okay so you've got two keys for this battery and then two different keys for that battery and to take take the battery out off the bike you know if you want to put it on a, a bike rack or something like that to make it lighter to maneuver it about because it is a heavy bike right to get the bike the the batteries off the bike all you do is turn the key give it a little tap like that and the battery is off the bike to make it lighter and more transportable on bike racks or in your van or whenever you want to put it and then to put it back on this is the easiest battery I've ever removed you just put it slide back on like that, like that take the key out that is locked on can't come off that's fantastic also on each battery you've got a uh, battery indicator so you can just press a the button there and it'll tell you the state oh hang on I've got to turn it on first you turn it on with that button there and then you just press that there there you go and it's saying fully charged which it is fully charged because so I've charged in both of and also the same on that battery there 
Now to turn the bike on, you switch the battery on. You only need to switch one battery on, there's no need to switch two of them on. And then you go up to the control panel and you press the top button there. Hold it down for a second. There you go. It fires up. And then your modes, you've got your plus and your minus, is just under there. So you've got one, two, three, four, five pegel system modes, which is fantastic. Now, can I just say about this bike as well, which is fantastic, are those lights. Those are actually daytime running lights. You can't turn them off. They are on permanent. For safety, that is fantastic. Okay. Now, to put your lights on, you just press the light button. And then the headlights will come on like that. You have got a high and a low beam. Okay, you've also got a fantastic, I'm doing this inside by the way, because I don't know if you've noticed, but it's absolutely thrown it down rain outside. A uh, fantastic backlight, which also acts, I'll just get my assistant to press the button, press the brake. There you go, fantastic brake light. I've heard mixed reviews about the seat. Not being too comfortable, but I'll be the judge of that because you know these things suit different people, different weights, and whatever. But yes, what a machine! Beautiful seven speed Shimano gears. You can adjust the compression on the actual forks to make it softer or harder, or you can uh, turn them right down and lock it out. It's just an awesome thing. It's also got a horn. The noise seems to be coming from under there. That's where the, it's at the seat off actually, the controller is under there. So yeah, perfect. The throttle? Yes, the controversial throttle. Right. <laughs> now I have played about with the settings on this bike. So I'll just lift the back wheel and I'll get my assistant here, because she's done nothing all day, to Use the throttle. Go on then. Let's see what he can do. You're just gutted, aren't you, at the moment? Why? Because it's raining. Yeah. He's oh. okay. Yeah. Thirty-one mile hours an hour according to that. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> so I don't know what it's going to be like with me on it, but with me on it, it would fly. But because you can't. Um, get the seat higher or lower, uh, or the handlebars, it is what it is. Yeah. And it's uh, definitely too big for me, even in my fluffy slippers. Beautiful though. Right folks, because there's no adjustment in the seat, okay, I'm five foot ten tall, and I'm flat footed. So if I stand up, I'm about an inch off the actual seat, okay? So to me, this bike is the perfect size for me at five foot ten. Uh, if my foot is on the highest place of the pedal, which is going to be there when I'm pedalling, so it's just under the handlebars. I think anything, you know, six foot above, you it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable to pedal. That's that's what I think anyway. The actual height of the bike to the top of the saddle. Is 33 and a quarter inches so that's the height that's that's the highest point on the bike on the front highest point on the bike is 43 inches okay now the best bit about it is I like is the handlebars the handlebars are 26 and 3 quarter inches wide so give it more of a motorbike feel mind you actually it looks like a moped doesn't it but yeah happy with that folks happy right folks the next time you'll see this bike is with me on it out there i'm out on the m20 this bike i've been waiting for for such a long time and it's finally come i'm only in power assist 2 and it's pulling like a train at the moment. 
just going around the field so I'll get used to it. I am peggling a little bit, but I'm only ghost peddling. Let's try it on Power Assist 3. Got a bit more power. The brakes are okay. The gears are working well. Oh man, it is totally bringing me back to my youth, this is. You know, because it, it feels just like a little moped. Most of us had, uh, most of us lads had little mopeds back in the day. So it's like, let me just see, one, two, and then your second turn of your pedal, the power, the power assist kicks in. Or does it, or is it quicker than that? Oh, okay, one, one, full, one full circle. And the uh, the assist kicks in. Take it across here. I haven't used the throttle yet. The 20 inch by 4 inch tyres are really gripping the track. Okay, let's knock it up a level. Okay, I've just gone for power assist five. Let's see what I do across here. I am peggling. The 20 miles an hour then, effortless. Still haven't used the throttle. I just thought I'd try the peg assist levels out first. Try it on a bit of gravel. Try a brake test. Brakes aren't too bad, there are only mechanical brakes on this bike. So not too bad at all. I would prefer uh, Hydraulic brakes, brakes obviously. All right, let's peg up this hill. This is a big hill. Seventh gear. Absolutely fled up. Because I've, as I said before, I've watched loads of vlogs on this bike, and uh, people were questioning the uh, the torque on this bike. I've got no issues with it at the moment. Bit of a speed test down here. So I'm in level assist five, I'm peggling. Wait, well, I've got to slow down because I'm going around bends, but that was only using my pedals, pedal assist. Morning. Nobody looked at me funny then. I was expecting them to look at me funny because this looks more like a mo moped than it does a, a push bike. It is so comfortable folks, seriously. You can have so much fun on this. Angles well. The only fault I've got at the moment, well, it's not a fault, but it could do with uh, hydraulic brakes, definitely. Okay, I'm going to try and go back up here now, throttle only. From a standstill. And that is a big hill. And it's a gradual climb up it. And the higher you get up, 
the steeper it gets. So throttle only. Is he going to do it? Drop down to 13, 12 miles an hour. But he did it. Without much effort, to be honest, he did it. The good thing about this bike, the throttle isn't aggressive. It's a gradual pickup. You know, some bikes you, you just twist the throttle like, in, like it's instant power and it shoots shoots away of you. But this is in, this is like gradual, which which is great. I'm going to go back down that gravel hill now and see how well it stops on gravel. I mean, on tarmac to stop. Not too bad if you slam the brakes on. The tyres feel like they've got loads of grip, I must admit. Okay, here we go. Not too bad. I was expecting to uh, get the back end out a bit then, but it didn't happen. Let's go for it across here. Oh, wow, water. Breaks the bedding in by the sounds of it. Just using the throttle now. 18 miles an hour. This is going to be a bit tricky getting through this uh, turnstile gate. It's on the back wheel. Get it in there. Try and hold. I just pressed the, uh, the throttle by mistake. So, get back out. It's a bit tricky. And there you go down. There you go. So it can be done. Uh oh. Dog attack then. Back on it. Use a throttle. There's a dog it is. Let's go on the grass. Even off road, you know, this feels so comfortable. I do wish it had a, a little bit more torque, to be honest. I mean, the range is going to be good, obviously. Because you've got two batteries, so you haven't got to worry about your range. And as long as you're moving your legs, I can't see it struggling with many hills, to be honest. But yeah, it's just great. It really is an overall great bit of fun. doesn't even feel like you're sitting on an e-bike, it does feel exactly like a moped. And because it's so planted, because it's so planted, it does make you feel perfectly safe. Let's go nice and steady through here. You know, you've got to put no effort on with this bike at all. You just turn your legs and the motor kicks in. You haven't really got to pedal, you just literally turn your legs. And regarding the comfort on the seat, I've got no problems with the seat whatsoever. None at all. Get past these people. There you go. See how agile it is through the uh, over the bridge. Hangle bars are a lov lovely width. Let's get it round here. 
crank it down. There you go. <laughs> wow, I love it. I'm having so much fun on this. Over the bridge. Let's go down the steps. Hopefully my feet won't slip off the pedals. Well, let's have a go. Nice and steady. Bit of brake squeal, but that's because I need bedding in. Okay, let's uh, just try this hill up here now from a standing start. I don't know if it's going to do this, but here we go, standing start. This is going to do it. This is a very steep hill, four miles an hour, but it did it. But yeah, this, uh, you know, when they uh, update these bikes, I think Engway will put a lot more torque in this bike because if they do, this, to, in my opinion, this bike's going to be unbeatable because he's absolutely fantastic. I love the thing. Now, turn around and try his pedaling. See how well it gets up the hill when I pedal it. Okay, pedal only. Yeah, they got up no problem at all, pedaling it. No problem at all. I'm trying to keep off the road for obvious reasons. Of a beautiful view of the River Seven. I think this is the only day where we come from. You're not gonna, we're not gonna have any rain after today. It's all gonna be wet, apparently. Cheers, mate. this thing absolutely love it I mean you know 20 21 22 miles an hour now off-road that's pretty impressive actually that's very impressive don't know what's up here, never been up here before in my life. Oh, oh it's a bit overgrown there folks. If you've got somewhere to ride one of these, e-bike stroke moped, to me it's more like a moped, you're gonna have so much fun. Like I am doing now. Wow. I just don't want to get off it. I love it. So capable off-road. It really is. Thank you. Like a, a cafe racer style bike. Oh, and I've only got shorts on, folks. Ah, I got through. I got through. I'm okay. What's down here? I'm just trying to show you how capable this bike is. Oh, 
away. <laughs> oh, I just see something all then. But it's coped. It doesn't chuck me off. Now I think Eng this is Engway's version, the uh, the M20, their version of the uh, Super 73. A similar bike to this, but this is a lot lot cheaper. This bike is. I've never been on a Super 73, but they look very similar. But I can't see why you want, want to spend more money on a bike this style when, to me, this is the best looking bike on the market. I think it's amazing, I really do. You could go for miles on it, you know, cruising along. Well, on private land in this country, of course, because it's illegal in this country, but... They are really, really are great fun. The power delivery in this bike is nowhere near as ag aggressive as some e-bikes I've reviewed, which, which, you know, gives you confidence. And it's so comfortable, folks. I don't know why people moaned about the seat being a bit hard, but to me, it's fantastic. So easy to ride, it really is. There's no adjustment on this bike though, so you'll either, it either fits you or it doesn't. But if it fits you, you're not going to want to get off it because it's amazing. Here we have the stunning Engway M20. It's made of aluminium alloy and it's available in three colours, black, white and this beautiful green. It comes with a 750 watt brushless motor which peaks at 1000 watts. The torque is 55 newton metres. It sports 20 inch by 4 inch fat tyres. You can purchase this awesome bike with either one or two 13 amp hour 48 volt batteries. The M20 is restricted to 15.5 miles an hour, but can easily be unlocked for off-road use. Charging will take around five hours per battery. It comes with 160 mil front and rear disc mechanical brakes and seven speed Shimano gears. The single battery bike weighs 42.7 kilos and the dual battery version gross weight is 45.9 kilos. Rider height is from 5 foot to 6 foot 8 and the payload capacity is 120 kilos. So what can I say about it folks? Well, my honest opinion. I love it! It's amazing! It really is! It's beautiful! Look at it! I love the headlights, I love the shock absorbers on the front. The mid shocker works well. The seat, to me, is comfortable. It feels so safe. The 20 inch by 4 inch tyres, fat tyres, absorb all the bumps. It's just amazing. The gears work well. I just love it. What more can I say? The Engway M20 is fantastic. I'm just going to do one more steep hill test. And this is a very steep hill test, where I'll take all the e-bikes I review. So 
So on pedal assist five, 10 miles an hour. I am putting a little bit of effort into it, 11 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour, 9 miles an hour, but he did it, he got up there. Yeah, you will, you will get up a big hill. You have to put a little bit of effort in, but you will. Anyway, this bike needs more torque and you will have the best bike on the market, in my opinion. This is beautiful. It is fun. It's just a wow bike. If it had more torque, it's definitely a wow bike. So I'm going to take you back now, folks. And give it a good polish, as I do. So now I'm doing 20 miles, 21 miles an hour on the flat using throttle only. 22, 23, 23 miles, 24 miles an hour. I'm moving my legs just in case, because I haven't got a mirror on, you don't know if somebody's behind me. So keep your legs moving and you should be okay. But I'm not doing anything. 18, 19. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 miles an hour on the flat, going for 24 to 25. Bear in mind I'm 17 stones in weight <clears throat> and it's cruising at 24 miles an hour. Fuck lonely. I am moving my legs a little bit as I've just explained why. Going up a bit of a hill, just drop down one mile an hour to 23. It hasn't dropped below 20 miles an hour, 24 miles an hour. Love it! Absolutely love it. Just go through the park to get back. Not really uh, much need to, but I just don't want to get off it because <laughs> I like it that much. It's a great little thing. Right, well, folks, that's about wraps this review up of this M20 from Engway. Absolutely fantastic bike. I wish it had a little bit more torque. But apart from that, brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it's uh, the best looking e-bike I think I've ever seen. Look at it, beautiful. So yes, I will put all the links in the description below and we do have a decent discount on it, so yeah. Yeah, so uh, if you've got somewhere to ride this off-road, you can have so much fun, like I've said before. Brilliant bike. So on that note, folks, we will say our farewells. So stay safe at a cavern as motor owners tend to drifters subscribe to our new, so love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. In a bit.